Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how I made these with the nail art stickers or nail art decals. Um, it was something that was shared in our group paper art swaps. And so I was asked to do a YouTube tutorial so that people could see how I did it. So they can decorate their little glass bottles too. Now I haven't tried this on plastic, but they do stay pretty well. See, I'm scratching it, it doesn't come off on a uh, glass once they dry. So just so I can show you guys, here's one. See, I'm scratching it and nothing. So as long as you're gentle with them, like you are with glass, um, you shouldn't have to put any coating on them. Um, if you do want to coat them, just to make sure nothing comes off after the fact, um, I would suggest Mod Podge, UV resin, or, um, well, really just those two because they, they dry clear and it will, or clear nail polish if you want to use clear nail polish, but it will flake. Clear nail polish will flake. So I suggest UV resin or Mod Podge, but like, like you can see, I'm scratching it and nothing. So as long as they're not trying to scrape it off, it, they should be fine after they dry. So, um, what you'll need is some of these bottles if you're going to do this size, like this. So, um, that is the mini glass containers in the 5 milliliter. You can get these at Dollar Tree. That's where I got mine. You can also buy them on Amazon if you just look up 5 milliliter cork and glass bottles. But I got mine at Dollar Tree. You'll need a pair of scissors. A, um, tweezers. I like these because they have a long nozzle, like they have a long, but you can use any kind of tweezers. It's just to pick them up out of the water. And then, uh, of course, you'll need some nail art, stickers or decals. I have a bunch of these little square ones that I bought some time ago. And so I'm going to do this design on the little container, but I also have different kinds. So I just want to show you, you can use different varieties. It doesn't have to be the same ones. I have a bunch of different ones. So I just picked the one up off the top. So there we are. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do these. So first you wanna pull the plastic off the top. It does have a plastic covering so that you don't ruin them. They don't just come off if you touch them directly. It doesn't make them less sticky. So if you touch them by accident, it's okay. I would suggest not touching them if you can avoid it, but it's okay if you do. So what I do is I cut a little line out, like one little row, and then I set this down, and then I cut these into individual pieces, like so. Try not to cut the actual decals, and then I take the tweezers and I just set them in the water on top. I usually do a bigger bowl, but I didn't want it to take up a lot of space for the tutorial. So I'm using a small container. Usually I use a big container. It's a lot easier to pick them up and them not be like stuck together. So you put them in like this. If you've ever done temporary tattoos, they're very similar to temporary tattoos and how they work with water. So, um, I make sure my bottles are clean. This one just came out of a package. So it's clean and I make sure my hands are clean. So my hand, I wash my hands before I started the video because um, the less oils and stuff you get on, on it, the better it will stick. Now, this is one of the first ones I made right here. This was the first one I made and if you can see, it did like mess up a bit there and some of it smudged. But as you make them, this was the last one I made, they will start to look a lot nicer so it's just a process you got to do it a little bit at a time um i started working them from the top to the bottom to make sure i layered as much as possible and uh, you can also just put a few on 
I like to cover it because I think it looks nice covered all the way around, but you don't have to do that. You can actually just do a few like this one. It has a lot of like little long wispies. So you can see the little long wispies. And as you can see, there were some I kind of bent, but still nice, still lovely. So those are fun. And then like, here's another one. I'm just showing you guys. Sorry, I bumped, bumped the camera. So just some different designs. So what I like to do is you gotta wait and give them a few minutes to soak. I always just scrape the water off the edge like this, just real gentle. And then I'll turn it and I stick it to my thumb. So you can use a tool, but I found this is makes it really easy. So as you can see, it slid right off. So then this is just paper you throw out. And then you're gonna take your bottle and you're gonna just place it right on your bottle. Now you'll see it does have a bit of like a little scrunchy part, but that's okay when it dries, it will be even and smooth. So there's the first one. And then, so we're gonna just keep doing that process. So just wipe off the extra water, put it on your thumb. The wetter your thumb is, the better because you can position them better when they're still wet on the bottle. As you can see, I can move it around to where I want it and just make sure it's nice and flat and where you want it, and then you'll move on to the next one. So, super, super easy. If you pull one up and it, it doesn't come off, just put it back in the water don't try to force it. It should be really smooth. Very, very smooth. So there's that one. And see, we got a pattern going. And sometimes this will happen as if where it separates from the paper. You just got to be real careful and just slide it over. So I put it on my tweezers real carefully and then I positioned it over my finger so I could stick it on and I actually just bent this one. So uh, this one, and if you mess up, it's okay. I messed that one up so we won't, that one's not gonna be able to be usable. It happens sometimes. I left them in here too long and now they're separating. So make sure you keep an eye on them. You don't want to leave them in there too long because then they separate from the paper and it's a little harder to grab them. So we'll put this one on. Usually I'm a lot faster, but I was explaining things, so I'm sorry guys. If they fall to the bottom like this one did, sorry guys, I'm trying to see what I'm doing. You'll just pick it up and you'll just do like I said, slide it on like that. And then add it on to the bottle, like so. And there we go. So, and you'll just do the same thing with the rest of them. Usually, if you have to sticker, if you have nail art sticker sheets like this, or nail art decal sheets, which whatever you want to call them, I've heard them called both. You can. Uh, You'll usually have enough to go all the way around the bottle and then some. So if you mess up one or two, it's totally fine. And then your end product should look like this. So I'm not going to bore you guys with putting the rest of those on. So, but that's how you do it. You just put it in the water, slide it on your finger, or you can slide it on something else if you don't want to use your fingers. And then you just attach them directly to the bottle. And then once you've got them on, make sure you do not touch any part of the bottle and you just set it up somewhere where you know you're not going to touch it and give it some time to dry and then they they don't come off like i said sorry like i said scratch scratch nothing scratch 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 nothing you know rub nothing doesn't come off so they should be fine once they dry 
But that's it. That's the simple, easy way to make these. I hope you guys follow this. I'd love to see your pictures. Um, you can send them to me on Instagram at Aurora's Treasures. You can also make a video of them on TikTok at Aurora's Treasures. And you can share them here and tag me in your video in the comments if you make a video about it. And for those of you that are in the group, if you guys decide to make these in our Facebook group, please share some pictures with me. But I hope this was helpful. I hope this made sense. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.